takes the radical from vitamin Vitamin C takes the radical from vitamin E so it can be recycled. So vitamin C is not as good an antioxidant as vitamin E, but it's still a good antioxidant. Relatively speaking, there's a big chart in the book that I didn't have you guys look too much at where it ranks the relative abilities of these different molecules to hold an electron-free radical. Vitamin E, it turns out, is better at doing that. And if you look at the structure of vitamin E, A, it's bigger. B, it's got those two rings stuck together, which and it gives it more spots to stabilize the free radical relative to vitamin C, which is good, but it's very small. Small is generally means that you have bigger ability to destabilize, um, just because it's small. So, um, the, so vitamin C takes the radical, and that, sorry, there's tape there. Takes the radical from vitamin E. So we can't really, we don't want to go excise vitamin E every time we use it. Every time we attach an electron to it, we don't want to break down our entire lipid membrane to take it out and put a new one in. So vitamin C comes along and allows for recycling within the lipid membrane of vitamin E, and then we can use vitamin C somewhere else. We can go take that asorbate radical we just made, find another asorbate radical, and split up and recycle that. So that's the concert of lipid radical free radical damage to the lipid membrane, followed by vitamin E use followed by vitamin C use. Okay, so I'll call this as extra step. We'll call this an extra step. So let me take a picture of this. 